gonna hit you. <laughs> Guess who's back? It's us with popcorn and your questions. You haven't been on our channel since before you left. I think the last time he was on was when we did our life update video. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it to find out why he was gone. So we're gonna answer some of your questions that you sent in. And yeah, you gonna eat this popcorn? I have a great time. You sound like a summer camp instructor. I have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question. Were you two high school sweethearts? And what was that like? What did your friends say? We were high school sweethearts. We didn't go to the same high school though. We met through mutual friends. We were sweethearts in high school. Yes, but it was a literal chance encounter. Like so many things could have happened differently that would have meant we never met, so. I could have got hit by a plane. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't met It was literally as simple as my grandparents not letting me go. Granted, they didn't know I was actually going to a different city, but whatever. <clears throat> Don't lie to your parents or grandparents. Next question. Here you go. <laughs> what is the secret to parenting? We have very different views on this. Very different. There's no secrets. Well, we agree on that. There are no secrets. Like, I think... Not like keeping secrets. There's just no secrets to parenting. Yeah. Like, there's no one rule that's like, if you do this, you're going to be a great parent. It's like, you figure it out and like, you're finally like, I know what I'm doing. And then the next day they change and then you're like, oh, never mind. So it, it's really just day to day. Like you just got to take things as they're handed to you. A and day at a time. A day at a time, literally. So, but always, <clears throat> I guess patience, probably. It's a virtue. And always thinking about the fact that you're raising a human to put out into the world. So, I always try to parent with that in mind. Okay, next question. Next question. Any tips for staying with your partner for as long as you have? Pick the right one. Yes, pick the right one, but also know that they're going to change. Like, don't go into it thinking that the person you fell in love with is going to stay that person the whole time you're together. Your partner's going to change and they're going to grow and you have to be willing to accept mm -hmm. that. Love them through the change. Best and worst thing about having kids at a young age. The best thing about having kids at a young age for me is that I feel like I can relate to them more. Like I, I still remember what it feels like to be a kid and like, you know, when I got in trouble, I remember how it felt to get in trouble. I remember how it felt to go to school for the first time. So I feel like the older you are, you kind of lose touch with like all of those emotions that you had growing up. So being a younger parent, I can put myself in their shoes a lot easier. And then the worst thing is probably just the fact that you're forced to grow up really quick. Because if I'm being honest, I thought I was an adult and like all grown up at like 18 or 19 and I definitely wasn't. And I was very immature and like selfish even when I had Elsie. So you don't think I was... I do. Yes. We both were. We both were still in that mindset of like no, like we get to do what we want to do kind of thing. A lot of you guys ask if we're having any more kids. Nope. Nope. We don't have any plans to have any more kids. If we get blessed with another kid, that's amazing. And we will welcome it with open arms. What's the top thing on your family bucket list? I want to go to Disney. <laughs> Knew it. I talk about it all the time. I want to go to Disney so bad. Hardest thing about managing a family and social media. I guess just feeling like I'm pressured to post every day. Also, trying to make my house and myself and my family look presentable for social media, which shouldn't be a thing. It's shoved in your face all the time on social media that all these people have perfect lives and their kids are perfect and their house is gorgeous and they drive the nicest car. And so sometimes you sit back and look at your life 
and you think that you're missing something, but in reality, you're not at all. So, that's like the hardest part for me to separate the fact that my life is great and I shouldn't compare it to other people's lives. But that's hard when you're on social media, especially for your job. So yeah, that's the hardest part, I think. What really inspired you to start your Instagram and YouTube channel? The Billy fan account was literally inspired <coughs> by Elsie because I had never seen her so interested in anything before, like to the point where she was asking about it every day and like, I just thought that was cute. And I had all these videos and pictures of her like dressing like Billy or singing Billy songs or dancing to them or talking about Billy. And because I work on social media, my main account needed to be like, you know, more businessy. So I decided to make um, the mini Billy account. And it was originally just for me to like have everything in one spot because I never thought Billy would see it. But then she saw it, and the rest is history. <clears throat> and now it has 202,000 followers, which is insane. Um, and then the YouTube channel was a request from all the people who followed us. Do you guys still talk to Maggie or Billy? I talk to Maggie pretty often. Um, Billy, I haven't talked to her since we saw her in June. She doesn't answer my DMs, even though people think she does. She doesn't answer her DMs. What are three personality traits you love most about each of your girls? One's smart and one's happy. Yeah. Elsie's very, very smart. Very intelligent for her age. She's also very empathetic. So she feels everybody's emotions to the deepest level. Um, and she's funny. Also talented. I know that's four, but... She's funny and talented. She does the funniest thing. Isla is sweet. I just call her my sweet one all the time because she's, she's so just sweet. One. Exactly. That's what I sing in my head every single time. Um, <laughs> I pick her up and I say, it's the sweet one. <laughs> anyway, she's sweet. She's also funny. Also funny. And she's rambunctious. She's the kid that's like climbing up on the counters and like nose diving off and then breaking a limb and getting up and running outside. Like she's She hasn't broken a limb. She hasn't broken a limb, but it's inevitable. Knock on wood. But yeah, those are our favorite personality traits. How often does Elsie see Billy? Um, so far it's been once a year. Once a year that we've met her, um, and then we saw her in October, but we didn't get to meet her because she had to go right into an interview, but we talked to Maggie, um, that day. Are you going on the Where Do We Go world tour? Not right now. So far there's nowhere close enough that we can travel to within our budget. Did you always know that you wanted, a, wanted kids and a family? Yeah. Of course. I did, for sure. It's the American dream. My god. How did we find Billy's music? My sister. Yeah, it's Matthew's sister, so Elsie's aunt. She showed us um, <clears throat> the Bellyache music video, and we were like, whoa, we really like her. Are you considering having any more pets? No. no. We have a cat, which we got whenever we first got married, and then we... Um, just got a dog and they are plenty. What are some of the best things that have come out of running a fan account? Being able to help so many people because I never realized that things that I posted were making that much of a difference. But so many people have come up to me at shows and stuff and just been in tears saying that I helped them. Do you make any money from Instagram? So on the mini Billy account, I made a rule at the very beginning that no matter how big that account got I would never do like paid promotions or collaborations or anything like that because that account exists solely because of Billy and Elsie and it's not for me to make money off of. On the other hand my personal Instagram account I do make money sometimes when I post but not always. Usually 
it's either just free products or nothing at all. Um, but lately I have gotten one or two paid collaborations. What was it like having Matthew away for so long? Was it hard to adjust? For those who don't know, um, Matthew's gone for the last half of 2019 um, for his job in the military. It was hard when he was gone to adjust because it was the first time that I'd ever been like without him for so long. Um, so yeah, it was hard and a lot happened. Like we all three got the flu, me, Elsie, and Isla. And it was to the point where I couldn't like take care of them because I was so sick. So my dad had to fly in and then we got our dog, which is also like a curveball thrown in there because puppies are a lot of work. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it was hard to adjust, but I finally got into a groove. Who had the idea of Elsie and Billy meeting? Maggie and Billy messaged me and said they wanted to meet us at a show. And so from there, we started like figuring out what show to meet at and you know what was gonna happen. And Maggie called me the night before the show and set up like Elsie coming out on stage, which was literally like planned a few days before. And all of that was their idea, not mine. A lot of people think that I reached out to them or like paid money to have that all happen. That was not the case at all. They said they wanted to meet Elsie. So that's what happened. And no, I cannot help anyone meet Billy because I do not ask for those things. Um, if they're around us, they ask if we're still there and then ask if we want to come to a show. I don't reach out to them and I never will. Even if they're in my city and I want to go but they haven't reached out, I will never reach out and be like, hey, so you're in my town, can you, you know, let Elsie see Billy? I'll never do that because I respect them too much. What's it like giving birth? Something this big, coming out of something that's normally way smaller, but then it stretches to accommodate the baby's gigantic head. And then usually the way you tell it's time is the person giving birth poops. <laughs> 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 and that's on preventing teen pregnancy. <laughs> Babies come out really slimy. I almost dropped one of them. Yes, they. Elsie. Elsie came out and they're like, "You want to catch her?" And I was like, "Sure." And so he pulled but her out. But I didn't out. put I didn't put chalk on my hands, and so <laughs> he was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and just dropped her on Ashley, and Ashley was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then we caught her, and she was she was fine. I mean, we had help. Isla, on the other hand, I don't even know what happened because I woke up and I was mm. like, hmm, I'm kind of hurting. And I told him. That one was easier to catch. Yes. I told him he could go to work and he went to work and I called him right when he got to work and I was like, can you come back? And he was like, are you kidding? And then we got in the car and we went to the hospital and then I was sitting in the triage room and they hadn't even like checked me in or anything and my water broke and I was like, hey, I'm gonna push a baby out. And they were like, okay, let's just check and see if you're dilated. And I was like, no, for real, this baby's coming out right now. And then they looked and they're like, oh crap, the baby's coming out right now. And then they wheeled me to a delivery room and I said, I'm gonna push. And they said, the doctor's not even here. And I said, I'm gonna push. And there she was. And I don't remember anything. And then she had to go to the NICU with him. And I didn't see her for nine hours. So yeah. Basically giving birth is chaotic. This was fun. And a little painful, but the best. Oh my gosh. The best moment ever. Did you and Matthew's relationship get stronger after Elsie? So for being completely honest, it got so much worse. Um, so much worse. So much worse. Because I dealt with postpartum depression really bad. Um, and postpartum rage, and it was just, uh, I should probably do a video on all of that. Oh, smash! Yes, that's basically how I felt all the time, and I was mad, and I didn't let him help because I didn't think that he could do it right, and when So he, I played Destiny. And so he, yeah. And with that's, the boys on Xbox. And that's where the immaturity part comes in, because I was too immature to say what I really needed, and he was too immature to be like, 
no, you need help. Now everything is great. Did you try to encourage Elsie to like Billy? No, never, ever. ever. And he can, I'm pretty sure he would have smacked me if I was like forcing her to do it, you know? Like I never <clears throat> thought that Billy would see our post. I never thought that we'd get a lot of followers. I never thought in a million years that Billy would want to meet Elsie. All of that happened. If you look at all the pictures that Elsie has with Billy, I'm not in them unless it's a group shot that Maggie was like, everybody get in for a group shot, which she did once at each occasion. Um, but yeah, all the videos are Billy and Elsie. I'm not in the picture. I'm not really talking to Billy. And that's because it wasn't about me. It was about Elsie and Billy. And anytime we see Billy, I let Elsie have her time with Billy. I'm not asking Billy stuff. I'm not taking pictures with her. So no, I have never forced Elsie to like Billy. And I said even at the beginning, if there's ever a time where Elsie's like, I don't really want to like be on, you know, the Billy account anymore, I'll say, cool. You know, like I'll change it to just me sharing things about Billy and not Elsie. So, yeah. What's your fave Billy song? You answer that one, cause I don't really listen to Billy. Lies. You had everything I wanted on your playlist, and you skipped that so fast. But you I know I have it was. all the albums, just in case I'm driving with Elsie in the car. I have all her songs, but Apple Music makes it free, so. AKA he listens to it. I don't. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing someone has said about your family? Uh, probably besides saying Ashley forces Elsie to like Billy. And Same. then all you little boogers who are like, does he even like his family? Yes. People saying that he doesn't like us or that... Or that know. I was my favorite. Yeah. Or I love that... both of my kids equally. Yeah. I just don't smile a lot because the muscles in my face that are required for smiling get tired. <laughs> it's much easier to frown because you have gravity helping you. See? <laughs> Hard. Easy. <laughs> Can I draw you? Sure. Yes, I'll sit here until you're done. How shocked were you when Elsie was on stage with B? I was pretty shocked to hear about it, and after Ashley told me, I was like, whoa. Yeah, because he didn't get to go because Isla was very little, and so he stayed home with her, and Elsie and I just went. And like I said earlier, it was like two days before when they said like, hey, we have this idea of her coming out. And I was like, well, she's three, and she's like scared of loud noises, and I don't know how she'll react on stage and they were like no pressure if she gets up there and she does you know she runs off that's completely fine but I was very shocked that she went on stage and not only stayed up there but like actually had fun and I think it's because Billy was with her so yeah I just stood off to the side and I was just having a proud mama moment because it was so sweet. How long have you and Matthew been together? <laughs> Almost 10 years. Yeah. Married for seven. Hi, I love your videos. Do you like Ikea meatballs? <laughs> that is the best question. <laughs> Literally, actually, I've actually never had them. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? Are they good? They're all right. They just I... taste like meatballs from Ikea, I guess. Do you have to put them together yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Instructions. <laughs> Instructions for a meatball. It's called a recipe. <laughs> I actually hate you. It's fine. Okay. Do the girls ever argue slash fight? <laughs> All the time. All the time. Elsie is very much a person who likes her space. Isla like is a toddler and she's like, hey, what's up? Want to be friends? Cool. Let me get all in your face. And so most of their arguments are Isla looking at something Elsie has or just looking at Elsie in general and then Elsie going off on her like, stop looking at me. Yeah. 
And then Isla's very like, not, not violent, but her first instinct is to hit, probably because she's two, and that's how two-year-olds deal with their emotions. I always have to catch arms like mid-swing because I will just walk up and look at Elsie and just hit her. But you know, I used to do the same to my sister. Just happens. How old are all of you? I'll be 26 in a week or two. She's I'm 26. Elsie's five. Isla's two. Arlo's like six ish months old. Seven. Seven months old. Maya is seven ish, eight years old. years old. What's your merch collection? I'm gonna film a whole Billy merch video someday. I've been meaning to do it literally for two years and um, <sighs> just can't find the time. Do you like my chemical romance? I did when I was a young lad finding myself. When I was a young, young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. <laughs> so now that our popcorn's almost gone and we've answered most of your questions, that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.